Hey guys, Sorzide here with another part of Pokemon Red. And, uh, well, let's start off by reminiscing on what we've been doing, because if you're not watching these in succession, you'll have, it'll have been a while. Yeah, so we beat, I think, I think it was last time we beat our rival here. Uh, managed to barely defeat him, if I remember correctly. And we got started on the Nugget Bridge, and I believe we were on the fourth trainer. Because we're going up this way to meet Bill, because he knows lots about Pokemon, and he's not a plot device of any sort. Shh. And we also need Drake to evolve, which is why I was checking his level. Um, he is level 17, and he needs to be level 20 in order to evolve, so... I also believe he did learn Tackle in the last part, which means he can actually fight now, but he still kind of sucks. No offense to him, but... So we're still doing the old, uh... I would call it the old switcheroo, but that sounds like I'm quoting something and I have absolutely no, no idea what I'd be quoting if I said that. So we're just switching out Pokemon, and we'll leave it at that. Uh, so I have a bit of bit of a dilemma that I really want you guys to help me with. So I went to record the net or not record edit the next part of Bionicle Heroes, and it has absolutely vanished from my computer. Or well, not my computer, but that's beside the point. I forgot to switch back. Drake, you can take a hit. Yeah, so. I ran a complete search over anything I would have called it, and I cannot find it at all. So, for those of you who haven't watched up to the current point, it's the second part of the second level of the zone, so there's no boss fight, and I'm wondering if you'd rather I move on and just kind of gloss over it and then we'll just cover the rest of the part when we go through the game again later to finish off all the canisters and stuff I'd have to figure out exactly what canisters and stuff I got in that part though or would you like cuz uh, with uh, Christmas coming up we're really busy and I don't think there'll be much of a chance to record anytime soon and I want to get that up so any chances of us re-recording it would be kind of weird, and I'd also have to play through the game to the point to try to get any canisters we missed, which would be extremely difficult. Ooh, Mankey. I don't remember if we fought these before. I don't think we have. Mankey's a fighting type. He looks weird in the sprite, and I have a friend who really loves the sprite because it's funny. And I will agree it is funny, but I think he does take it a little too far. Shh. Nobody tell him. Not that I think he watches these. So, moving on. Oh, come on! Also, if you watch uh, Quasi's Let's Play of Pokemon Yellow, he's my friend who's appeared on here a couple times. Oh, great, Vakama grew a level. Uh, he used a Mankey, and it was a critical hit champion. Let's just say that. Now, Vagama's almost dead, so healing time. And... I don't know. Uh, I, also want, I also want you guys to leave me a comment about whether or not you want me to do silver alongside of my two current Let's Plays. I promise I'll get going on red again, and I'll stop putting it off. I managed to convince myself to record, because... Uh, need to talk to you guys about this stuff and I figured I should do red because I found the stuff I found uh, yeah the files for it I found those so and as we know back up nugget bridge past all these trainers so we beat all five so congratulations you beat our five contest trainers you just earned a fabulous prize a nugget which the bridge was named after no way like to join Team Rocket, what? Dedicated to evil using Pokemon. Hmm. What? No. I'm thinking about it. You make me an... What's the offer? I don't understand if you're just gonna battle me. 
How's that an offer? I'm not refusing, I'm just thinking. Yeah, I know, just about everybody does that sort of joke, but... Still. They give you an offer and you automatically refuse, and that's really dumb. Oh. Well, Kama, you need a new move. Don't get poison, don't get poison, don't get poison. Yes! Okay, let's go. Okay. Come on, Drake, grow a level. We need you to. And I wanted to jerk her. <sighs> okay, um. Let's check. I think he's close. I hope so. Or not even anywhere near that. I got about a hundred from the Ekans, so I'm gonna guess I'll get around that from the Zubats. We got about five battles till he's level 18. So in other words, this is not looking good, because there is... I don't know if there's enough trainers to level him up, so I might have to do some grinding, and I don't want to do that. Ah. Anyway, Team Rocket down. Oh, that was only 80. You're making my situation even worse. Arg, you are good. I made him sound like a pirate, because he said arg. With your ability... Well, I suppose I could, but then again... Team Rocket does kind of get owned by children, so maybe I don't want to. Uh, Team 25, I believe that's Thunder Wave. Yes. Uh, if you're playing yellow, you can actually get a Charmander here, which is pretty sweet. And, okay, I'm going to save this trainer because I want to show off what is known as the Mew Glitch. And I'll actually probably do that soon. Sooner rather, or I'll record it sooner rather than later and then do as a bonus video or something. Because I am actually going to need the experience from this trainer. So, and plus I don't remember how to do it right now. And we need to catch the Pokemon on this route. So anyway, this route has, uh, in red, sorry, I'm craning over to look at the other computer because I have it brought up on there. Uh, Weedle, Oddish, Kakuna, Pidgey, Abra. So there's two new ones there. Uh, Oddish and Abra. Oddish isn't... Oddish is Grass and Poison. I'm pretty sure we fought it before. It's not the one I'm worried about. For those of you who have played this before, you'll know that Abra is a Pokemon along the lines of Met... Holy crap! Okay, I'm throwing a Pokeball at you. That was nice. Oddish was caught. Uh, yeah, we'll stick with Oddish, and I'll talk about Abra when I find it. A weed Pokemon. During the day, it keeps its face buried in the ground. At night, it wanders around sowing its seeds. But it has feet. So anyway, Oddish is a grass poison type. Definitely not a bad Pokemon, but not really a good one either. So, oh, hello, Abra. So, Abra's a psychic type, like I talked about when we fought, uh, our rival had one. However, I also said that it had the move Teleport, which is very convenient because your opponent has it during a trainer battle. Very inconvenient now, in that you've got one turn before it does that. So you basically have to chuck a Pokeball or somehow stop it from running away, which I think sleep is the only way to do it, and I don't think there's really any way to put it to sleep this early. Although... No, you could have the powders from Evolving Bulbasaur. So I'm going to be looking for Abra. So this might be a while. Okay, Abra number two. 
So basically, the gist of what you have to do with Abra is get really, really lucky. Yes! Okay. Thankfully, that only took two tries, because Abra can be a pain, and we need it for what I want to do. Using its ability to read minds, it will identify impending danger and teleport to safety. So if you're, uh... Thank you, Wild Pokemon. If you're playing blue, you will find, uh... Bellsprout here instead of Oddish, and I assume Caterpie and Wheel, their families are switched. So... Um, Bellsprout and, uh, Oddish are very similar. Um, wow, I'm distracted. That took a while. Um, Bellsprout and Oddish are, like, counterparts, basically. And they... <sighs> Stop being distracted. Uh, they both evolve at level 21, they're both grass and poison types, and they both evolve into their final forms by a leaf stone, which we have not encountered yet. Uh, Abra, like I said, is a psychic type, um, and will not learn the move teleport until it evol learn anything other than teleport until it evolves at level 16. And then it will evolve into Kadabra, which immediately learns confusion. So if you stop it from evolving, at level 16, you won't have a move as a Kadabra either. Until you learn, like, Psybeam at, like, 21 or something like that. Something along those lines. Uh, and then, to get Abra's final form, you need to trade a Kadabra. Which, so obviously you need more than one game. And it is also the reason why I don't want to use Abra. Well, that's one of the reasons. The other is, uh that Psychic is way too overpowered in this game. <laughs> I burned you! Too bad defense is irrelevant when you're being burned. Uh, but Alakazam is an absolutely amazing Pokemon to have. Um, I don't think I mentioned, but we are... we The Nugget Bridge is actually on Route 24. And this one's on Route 25, and this, uh, I think, like, just about there is the threshold, right about here. And in this grass, it's the same Pokemon as Route 24, just with the addition of the other, uh, bug family. Like, Caterpie and Metapod, if you are playing red. Just at very low rarities. So anyway, I think we're just gonna... I don't want to make this too long. And Onyx, generic. Okay. I'm not worried about you. I fought many of you. And as long as you don't have Rock Throw, I am not afraid of you. Yeah, I can survive two more of those. And I get a critical hit, so I'm not worried. That is kind of worrisome, though. Oh, jeez. Very nice experience, though, and got Drake to level 18, I believe. Um, I'm going to go heal. See ya when I get back. Alright, well, back up to Route 25. Like I explained to the trainer over there on Route 24, there is one trainer here that I am not going to fight because I'm saving him for a glitch that allows us to get the legendary Pokemon Mew, which I will record as soon as uh, I'm done with this route so I can get the experience off those guys and have the glitch done. And I suppose that can be another thing. So that's uh, another thing I want you guys to comment on. Uh, tell me if you want me to show that now or later. So I think that's three different things. I'll remind you at the end of the episode. Ah, Hyper Fang. 11 damage. Not really all that worrying. Big whoop. And a Spiro. These guys are so unoriginal. And 
<laughs> Drake needs two more levels. Ah, Fury Attack. That can hit us between two and five times. And of course it gets two because it sucks. I'm just kidding, Spiro. Jeez, what's with all the burns? Two. Now your attack is cut in half, so I'm really not worried. Alright. Spiro's down. <laughs> You're decent. So, this is the guy we don't want to fight. However, unfortunately, he is a Pokemon we haven't seen yet. And it is... Where is it? Number 79, Slowpoke. Water and Psychic type. Uh, yeah, there's not much to it. Slowpoke's known as the doping, Dopey Pokemon. That's one of the ones I actually remember. Because it's... Well, dopey. And I think this is that guy's girlfriend. And, yeah. I don't remember. There's one pair on this route somewhere. Wait, a girl has a need around male? What? I thought they always said the girl... Unless this person has both. Which is possible. Ah... Vakama, you are so overleveled, and yet you will still get owned so badly in the gym. And uh, we are, or Vakama is higher than the gym leader's Pokemon right now, so. Oh yeah, she is both. Okay. Making a big deal out of nothing. Ah, I really wish we were getting into where we could fight more new Pokemon, but... At this point in the game, they don't want to be introducing you to things you can't handle yet, so. Which is, is understandable. Okay. Sweet. <laughs> Was in bad condition. So we'll fight him. And with the next trainer, you've actually got a. If you fight him a specific way, you can get the item above him. Otherwise, you're going to need to come back later with the HM cut. So, it's not particularly difficult if that's what you're worried about. If you're worrying at all, I doubt you are. But it's literally going... A it's not even going out of your way. Just, you can get the item if you don't go out of your way to avoid him. So, and actually, I think I'll have that item be the end of the episode, so we're getting there. And this guy's got a few Geodude, doesn't he? Oh, go away. Really don't want to deal with this. Yep. This is going to be a long battle. Yay! Well, at least they're not very high level in the I'll probably need to heal in this battle, jeez. Although, if they keep doing that and be really, really stupid, I think I'll be good. And if I can get a couple critical hits, that'd be nice. Or actually kill them in two shots, which would also be awesome, but it's not going to happen, because that's just not how this game works. Yeah, and they're decent experience. Oh, hello, Machop. That's right, you have a Machop. Okay. How much do you need, Drake? Stats. 612. Holy crap. Dog. Take care of it when I'm done with here. This. Oh, no. Okay, that was a crit. I will attack him once. Maybe I'll even get a burn. That'd be awesome. Oh, okay. Okay, we're good. Ooh, we'll come and try to learn Rage. Okay, I'll go with that. Sweet. Uh, bye, Growl. Did I just make a noise when I deleted the move? I can't tell. 
such an obnoxious noise. I don't know why they ever introduced that into the series. It's just... Why? Okay, did I... Wait. I did... Oh, crap. I didn't buy any. Uh, yeah. About this. Okay, that definitely helps. Ah! Okay, maybe we'll get the item next episode. Yeah! Okay, so after that near defeat, uh, I will let you guys know how you can get that item, which I believe is a TM, uh, in the next part. And remember, I asked you to comment, uh, one, what you want me to do about the next Bionicle Heroes part, because I don't have it. Uh, if you want me to do silver alongside red and Bionicle Heroes, and, uh, whether or not you want the Mew glitch now or later, after this is all over. So, I will see you guys later. Please comment. I need everybody's opinion. So, see you guys later.